What's up, Compact Fiends, Compact Nation? It's your boy Y85, the Compact Addict. Got a new haul for you. Got a ton of books, man. I, I probably I need to. I got so many books that I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have another haul video, not too long, uh, not too far off from this one. So happy to be back. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, a lot of books, some online purchases, some Facebook purchases, a lot of store purchases from my LCS. So this is She-Hulk number one. I sold my only other copy a while ago for like 40 bucks. And I kind of regretted it. I do regret it. <laughs> um, I just wanted to, I was trying to just sell books off to get other keys on it. It wasn't really a big fan of She-Hulk. So um, anyway, I got this for about $27 on uh, Facebook. So it's about a fine minus. It's a fine minus condition. There's a lot of some creases up here and on the back cover as well and uh, i mean it's okay but 27 bucks i guess good enough for now i mean 50 plus for a higher grade i'm not willing to pay that much um got this for five bucks this is amazing spider-man uh, volume 251 just a, it's a fa just a famous j scott campbell cover so pretty cool i never got it for a decent price you know i think it's like a 10 dollar 15 dollar book online so for five bucks Happy to finally get it. Let's see here. What else? We got Spider again. Zero. First appearance of the uh, the video game Spider-Man suit. So in, in comics. So, you know, it doesn't go for much. But, you know, anytime there's a new suit of Spider-Man in a comic book, uh, I always figure to pick it up. Uh, along with that, I also picked up uh, Amazing Spider-Man 559. It's the first appearance of Screwball and Paper Doll, I believe. Anyway, it's this character down here, Screwball. He's in that new video game as well. So figured I'd get his first appearance, you know. That's, uh, you know, just in case he pops up again in the comics. There's his first appearance. Doesn't go for much. Probably like a $5, $10 book at best. But you never know. So get it now, I guess, just in case something happens. Really starts showing up and something. This book, you no, know, everyone knows about this one. This thing's been getting ridiculous. I mean, price-wise, like $20, $30 book. Maybe it's cooled out off a little bit, but this is the first appearance of Star Force. And I got a new stand copy too at that. So got this for a couple bucks. All these books I've got for a couple bucks so far. Except for that uh She Hulk. New comic book day uh was it last week? I picked up Justice League Dark issue no, number three. And I got two copies of the uh first this is the first full appearance of Upside Down Man, so this, a, this book is a good uh, speculation book to get, man. And especially with him on the cover right there. I got two copies, and I got the Greg Capullo uh, variant, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Virgin variant right here. So, oh, happy to have all three, though. But, yeah, this is probably the money book to get if there anything goes on with that character. Also, I picked up this cover. Sick. Awesome cover. This is the Venom First Host 5 variant. This thing was going for a decent amount of money when it first came out but it's cooled down it's probably it's about ten dollar book right now but just I think it's just a cool cover awesome cover so yeah pick that up so hey if it's still around in your lcs i suggest picking this this book up just based on the cover alone because i don't know i think it's gonna be steady ten dollar book for a while let's see what else oh, i've been picking up lots of independents and they're starting to there's some they're starting to heat up and um I'm going to take this one down. You know, I'm getting into the new books lately, you know. I still buy some, you know, some medium keys, you know. Still saving for that monster key, but that's going to be definitely down the road. But this is a walk through hell number one. Doesn't go for much now, but from Aftershock. But I am really highly suggesting this book. I got two copies. And, uh, yeah, it's like a $10 book right now. About, yeah, $10 book, but... Hey, it's got a lot of potential, so I say you get it now. Is my uh, is my advice. So I'll walk through hell number one. It's hard to find now. I mean, there's, I had two copies left at my LCS, and I said I grab both of them. You know, another book I think it has some good potential. This is Hot Lunch Special number one from AfterShock. Pretty cool cover. I like it with the hand and the sandwich there. But uh, heard lots of rumors that this book gonna you know has a lot of hype to do something you know as far as TV or something. Uh, so yeah. Do you another book I suggest you get if you uh, run across in the wild, you know? Don't pay more than cover price. That's what I pay for all these books. This book here, man, love this cover. This came out this week. This is Dead Rabbit, number one, from Image. This is the variant. This is the variant, black and white variant. Pretty cool cover. I uh, got this for $10. Bucks. Um, right now it's going for about $15. Bucks. 
on uh, eBay. Um, you know, starting you know heat up a little bit. People are trying to get this book, so if you find this, this is the last copy of my LCS, so I just grabbed it. I was really happy to get it. Ah, this book here. This is the go get this book now right here. This book is really heating up. This is going for fifty bucks. Once again, is a variant. Um, this is uh, what is this called? Sparrowhawk number one. This is the Stephanie Hans variant, Virgin variant. Awesome cover, man. This is like a this is a fifty sixty dollar book right now already. I picked this up for twelve bucks, man. My camera's a little cloudy today. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'll zoom in better, but beautiful artwork. So Sparrowhawk one variant. I suggest trying to go find that now before the price even gets higher. But yeah, it's already a fifty dollar book easily. So Stephanie Hans variants, man, they get they go up in price. You know how that goes. So moving on. Got only a few more books. I've been freaking flying through these books. Flying through them. My big few books I got. Um, this is Ninjax number one. This is the variant from I don't know what year, but it's like a forty dollar book, man. You know, I found it for four dollars on my LCS, and I was like freaking so psyched because I I've been looking for this book and I never thought to look at the comic shop right down my right down where I, where I, from where I live, but uh, sure enough, it's there. Cool covers, a freaking woman inside that freaking ninjax there. It's a really cool picture, good artwork, but yeah, be on the lookout for this variant. See, forty easy forty fifty dollar variant right now. Happy to have my big two purchases online. I finally got myself a co high grade copy, Amazing Spider Man two ninety nine. I think I paid. 20 something dollars for this and it is high grade i'm talking freaking 9.4 easily my camera is a little cloudy i don't know i think it's the mylar that it just won't focus on anyway this book is so undervalued in my opinion because this is really the first appearance of venom i mean the last page he shows up i'm not going to open it up but you see full venom on the last page it's first appearance cameo i mean it's a cameo appearance but this is really first appearance in this book um obviously 300 is the money book but uh this book's starting to slowly creep up in price with the movie and all that and uh, it's like going for like 30 40 dollars now so get yourself a high grade copy you know tom mcfarland art can't go wrong it looks just like 298 kind of was always wondered why he chose to do practically the same cover in two two separate issues but yeah, Main Spider-Man 299, starting to get, blow up in value, and so happy to finally get this high in high grade condition. Let's get up close and personal one more time. Heck yeah! Following my big book of the week, boom baby, we got Transformers issue number one. Man, I've been looking for this book forever. Oh man, so many times I just almost pulled the trigger on it, and I just didn't. It would be like twenty five dollars or whatever, and I was like, I was like, sweet, and I would be willing to pay for it. And then I'd examine the book, and I'd see tick marks, you know, ticks on the spine, the corners weren't sharp. It's gonna post personal, and I was just like, you know, I was never willing to, you know, pick up a copy of this for like twenty bucks or so without being in high grade. So finally, I broke down with the new freaking trailer come of uh, freaking Bumblebee movie out now um i was like you know what forget it i'm just gonna go ahead now see now my camera's doing better it's really cloudy all the whole freaking time that stinks but super high grade copy yeah but anyway like i was saying i was like i'm picking this book up now i mean a new trailer just uh came out and this book here is the first appearance first comic book appearance of a whole di whole bunch of characters uh the transformers so heck yeah, got it for forty bucks. I got this is my one of my few eBay purchases I've done in a while, but for a high high grade copy, it's worth it in my opinion because it's got a lot of potential to increase in price. Uh, so heck yeah, glad to finally get it in the collection. Anyway, short video. I threw I flew through it. It's NFL Sunday. Cheers, a little freaking vodka seltzer. These things are pretty good, refreshing, you know. I've had some bad allergies lately, man. I don't know what it is, but, man, this must be the pollen in the air or something, but Southern California, I guess it's getting bad right now. But anyway, 
Hope everyone's doing well. Watch some football today, NFL Sunday, you know. And uh, Comp Guy signing out. See you later.